Okay, Lauren, thanks very much. After more than six months on hold, jury trials are scheduled to start up again today in Maryland. Courtrooms have been retrofitted for COVID-19 safety protocols, but there are hundreds of defendants whose trials have now been delayed for all this time. We have WMR2 News with Mark Roper live outside the Baltimore County Circuit Court building there in Towson. So, Mark, how are the courts going to catch up on these cases? A lot of times these defendants have just been waiting months for their case to be heard. Yeah, Christian, they've been able to work on a lot of civil and family court cases which don't require a jury, but there's still a heavy backlog of criminal cases waiting to be heard. With jury trials on hold for more than six months, Baltimore County Circuit Court Judge Judith Ensor recalls there are about 1,600 felony and misdemeanor cases on the dockets. With about 700 already settled out of court, there's still a lot of catching up to do. We might have five to seven jury trials going in this building. We're retrofitting courtrooms and we're hoping to have four trials going on. So, and that's going to take a little time. So every day we're, we are a little further behind, but we are being creative. By finding a way to split up the number of jury trials to hear between criminal cases and civil cases, the plan is to have at least four courtrooms retrofitted with COVID-19 safety protocols in place. Some of the courtrooms can't be retrofitted. We have to have space for our jurors to be distant and there simply isn't enough room to have six feet between everybody. So we had to go through, literally measure every courtroom. With two courtrooms reserved for criminal cases and two courtrooms for civil, Judge Ensor points out the need to reduce the backlog of civil cases is just as important as it is for criminal cases. We have cases involving catastrophic personal injury. We have cases involving breach of contract. We have cases involving medical malpractice. You know, in a medical malpractice case, the, the plaintiff wants resolution, but so does the defendant, healthcare provider. And how many jurors are needed for a trial depends on the type of case. In a civil case, each side gets four strikes. So we don't need as many jurors. In a criminal case, it could be 20 and 10 strikes, so 30 strikes. In order to pick a jury, 12 people plus some alternates, we have to qualify a lot more people. But during a pandemic, a judge might need to call for even more than usual in case any show symptoms or contract COVID-19. I may take a few extra alternates. You have to balance that with you're taking people away from their lives. And so we're in the business of moving cases fairly and efficiently, but we're not in the business of wasting anyone's time. So I wouldn't want us to bring in, you know, you don't need four alternates on a two-day case. You might need four alternates on a three-week case. With so many changes in routine policies and procedures, both in and out of a courtroom, cases brought before a judge and jury might take a little longer than usual. Because there are going to be hiccups along the way. I think when you anticipate that, you know, we've done what we can to anticipate what problems might come up and try to address those. There'll be others because our work involves people. And so I think we'll just be flexible and creative and patient. And in light of the six-month delay, another reason why many are anxious for these cases to be heard again is the constitutional right to a speedy trial. We're live in Towson, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.